Hi, uh, I'm Shayandeb. I'm uh, you know, the CEO and one of the co-founders of the math company. Uh, we are in the business of what we call as transforming intelligence uh, for enterprises across the globe. Um, the purpose is, uh, you know, or the mission statement is, is very straightforward. How do you create viable and valuable data and analytics transformation? We are in this journey for, you know, the little over two years and uh, we are seeing some, you know, kind of fascinating problems, uh, you know, unraveling in front of us and, and the solutions that we are creating. Um, as part of that uh, journey, right, one of the key things that uh, we look at is, um, you know, how do you, how do you create, uh, you know, kind of a better ecosystem for this space which, you know, is called data science, machine learning, AI, you know, there are many names that are given to this. But, but creating the bigger ecosystem, I think, is, is the challenge in front of us, right? Because, you know, the, the world is becoming digital, there are more and more uh, you know, uh, data that is coming to play, there is bigger you know, compute power, so, you know, a lot of problems are there out there to solve. But how do you solve that, right? I mean, it's, it's part of the solution lies, or the answer lies in technology. Obviously, there are newer ways that are coming up. But a good chunk of that also come in, you know, human, you know, intelligence, our ability to comprehend those problems, ability to understand what needs to get done, and how to needs, how we get, need to get that done, right? So in that uh, context, right, uh, I have been, uh, involved with uh, Virginia Tech uh, you know, in their analytics uh, program that, that they have launched. Uh, we are you know, looking at really an interesting combination of obviously a lot of hard skills that people need to learn, a lot of math, a lot of technology. But at the same time, you know, how do we completely have relevance right, of the industry? Because this is a standard problem that you know, most academic problem, you know, programs mostly suffer from that, well, while it is you know, kind of very deep into uh, you know, theoretical aspects, people generally complain. But what I have found, and, and this is something that, you know, why, what made me, you know, kind of very excited about this program is, you know, the, the combination of uh, the math and the technology for sure, right, you know, some of the business context. But then how do you bring in more uh, practitioners, more people from the industry to, you know, kind of create that mix, to make it more relevant and, and talk about, you know, things beyond the math and the data, things that, you know, people generally don't teach in, in a, you know, kind of a good theory class, right? What kind of data challenges that you can face? How do you design a right problem? So that's, you know, kind of the, uh, you know, area that uh, I have been working with. Um, talking about the industry as such, as I said, right? I mean, there is a big, big gap or, or a dearth in terms of the right talent that is, that is required to do this. You know, we, you know, when I, when I run my company, you know, the biggest thing that keeps me awake is, you know, as we scale, as we, you know, kind of get to more and more uh, prospects, get to more and more clients, get to solve more problems. How do I, you know, kind of look at my supply side of the equation? I mean, how do I really get, you know, kind of a team which is, you know, kind of well nurtured? I think that's where a good uh, collaboration or a good partnership between industry and academia is needed. You know, people like Virginia Tech and others needs to come forward and, and people like us who are in the, you know, in the, as practitioners in the industry, we need to come together and create more relevant uh, programs and curriculums that will create the right kind of uh, talent for us. I, I know there are a lot of people who are, you know, probably at the cusp of, uh, you know, the decision that, you know, should I be changing my career? Uh, honestly, you know, what I see out there from my vantage point, the number of discussions that I have on a daily basis with, with you know, global leaders, is that, you know, I, I think it's no longer a question of, you know, to be or not to be. I, do, I think that that period is done. I think the the writing is there on the wall that you know this whole era of machine learning ai is here to stay if you look at every aspect of it you know including a un general assembly you know including the in the union budget that gets presented in india or any other countries there will be a section that talks about you know kind of what our you know ai strategies what our machine learning you know kind of what are we going to do so so given that environment everything will have a good slice of machine learning ai into it so the more, the faster we, you know, kind of adapt to it, the faster we get into it, I think there are more exciting stuff ahead of us. Analytics is a multidisciplinary field. Um, it is, it is about math, obviously where it starts from, it is about technology, it is about business and domain, multiple business verticals, functions, uh, it is about behavioral sciences, it is about design thinking. So, you know, this is a very interesting uh, area where, you know, kind of, it's like a potpourri of, you know, many different um, disciplines that comes together. So it is it is absolutely critical that uh, you know an individual understands where their strengths are because somebody will come 
from a technology side of things. Somebody will come from a pure math side of. Somebody will be a very good, you know, kind of a business acumen person. Now we need to understand where our strengths are, and therefore what are the skills that we need to build. Because believe me, when you know we as a employer is looking for people, or, or, or almost almost the industry who is looking for analytics professionals, they are looking for a mix of this, you know, more than anything. I, I, I don't think anybody will say that. Well, you know, I am looking for just a Python programmer. You know, those days are not there. They are looking at you know problem solvers who will leverage the knowledge of math. They'll leverage the you know power of technology or you know the tools and techniques that they know and different domains that they know. So this is. Obviously, a truly an horizontal that cuts across multiple industries, multiple functions. So, so that's you know something one needs to keep in mind. Just if I feel that I know just one domain, uh, you know, maybe it's insurance, and I just go deep into it. As a data science professional, that may not be enough. Right? You need to know a little broader. I need to know know a little more. So that's that's you know kind of what is uh, happening in this industry. So there are a lot of uh, you know interesting you know cross connections and things happening. I'm sure you know we all talk about IoT, right? Uh, you know these days. Now, uh, this is a question that gets posed to me that you know uh, where does you know kind of data science fits in? You know, what, is IoT different? Is it part of it? Uh, my answer is is you know kind of more straightforward, right? Uh, IoT essentially talks about machine data, right? These are different sources of data, but when you bring in you know kind of those sensor data that generates from the machine. What you do with that is probably a machine learning algorithm, right? So there is a, you know, ultimate solution that you are looking for is not IoT. What you are looking for is probably a predictive maintenance solution. How do the sensors from your machines is going to generate enough data that you are going to leverage to see, you know, kind of which machines needs a, you know, maintenance in the next 60 days or things like that, or which of your tractors needs that, which of your air aircraft needs that. So. So it's it's really you know about the data and the data sources, newer sources of data, machine data, sensor data, video data, you know, audio, sound. You know, there are there's so many different things. But then you know, what do you do with that information? That's where you know kind of apply your machine learning, your algorithms, and come up with a solution to a problem. So that's where it it is you know very adjacent in my mind, and it, it's it's not too different. You can't say you know kind of IoT and completely you know say that that is nothing to do with data science. That will never happen. Uh, and similarly, data science needs to leverage on different data sources. That's pretty much you know kind of what I feel.